Welcome. You have reached review time with Imperial. And today's review would be Black Adam starring Dwayne Johnson. Let's get into it. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. So, uh, this was a long anticipated film. They did great promotion to build up the hype of the film. I think they came out with a perfect timing to drop this film. You know, DC normally muff up uh, their movies. And they, the timing was perfect. Because we all know in a few weeks from now, Black Panther 2 will be coming out. And uh, so this is a perf perfect timing to bring it out on this date. Everybody's going to Zoom to the movie theaters to watch this film. And this will be one of DC's biggest films. I, I, I foreshadow seeing that because this movie, uh, this movie hit on all cylinders. Cylinders, the action was there. The Rock played a great role. And uh, so to the comic novice, we can all come in and watch this movie and just pick right in. Uh, you might want to watch like Shazam because Shazam 2 great come in and you learn about the character of Black Adam. So the uh, comic book heads who know the backstory of everything and know everybody's name, they're, they're able to give you the, like more of a detail to explain everything. I'm somebody like myself who's just a novice when it comes to the comic world. I just give you what I've seen on the screen. So it starts off telling the story of Black Adam before he was Black Adam. And his people were enslaved 5,000 years ago. They were looking for this emblem called in um, Eternity. And this thing, the king wanted this emblem so that he could get these powers. So there was this crown that was forged by the king's people and they needed the emblem of the eternity to combine so that he could get these powers. So one of the slaves found the emblem and so they took it to one of the henchmen that was above the slaves and they were supposed to get a treasure if they found it or some reward. The henchmen pretty much killed the slave and threw him off of the off of the um, cliff. Now the son, who at the time you assume is Black Adam, the son says, "No, our people should be free." So he ran and grabbed the emblem and ran off. Now what took place is. The story shows that he was found and right when they was going to chop his head off, he turned into the Shazam warrior. Then it went to present day time. So the city, the town that the people were enslaved in present day time, 5,000 years later, it's like modern day slavery. The people are still poor and there's always someone there to um, trying to take over. So I, um, Isis, she's like wanted, but she's in the town. Nobody, she's trying to find the artifacts of the crown, believing that the powers of the crown will arise a king, a champion that can help the town. So her and her being, and she has a son called Amon. So her son is familiar. He drives a skateboard around town. So Isis with her brother and two other guys, Sabak. So, uh, well, he turns into Sabak, but his name is Ishmael. So when they go into the tomb, she sees the crown. The crown is just floating in there. So she runs up and grabs the crown. Now, these mercenaries come in with their guns uh, blazing. So she reads on the ground the artifacts. And what she's reason, reading is what's going to release Black Adam. And of course, they make a good impression. And 
Black Adam comes out. He just doing all his thing and killing everybody. He saves her. So at the time, you think Ishmael is dead. But of course, if you don't see nobody in every movie that we watch, especially on this channel, you don't see nobody, they ain't dead. So you find out that Ishmael is really, he was using ISIS to find the artifacts and he was really one of the bad guys. That's what you find out. Meanwhile, Black Adam is now in modern day time his time was 5,000 years ago, so he's getting adjusted. He's everything that he once knew is no longer there. So the character of Black Adam is not, he, reason why he's going to be, make such an impact is because he's not the hero that we used to, you know, the heroes that come, make sure they take the bad guy and um, they take the bad guy and make sure that they go see justice and they still live and they get tried by uh, the law and everything like that. And you know how uh, Superman struggle with killing people and all that. See, that's where he where he becomes um, a dope character because he comes and he kills the bad guy. What we all be rooting for when we watching these movies. Not all. Let me most of us that be watching these superhero movies, like, man, just kill him. So that's what he's doing. That's where his impact. So he's not really a, a superhero. He's not a true villain either. So he's like an in-between. And he got the powers of Shazam. So the guys that, the, from the movie Shazam, that gave him um, his powers, they gave Black Adam his powers too, but they said he was unworthy of the powers. And so... You got Ishmael who's searching for this crown because he wants his get these powers from the underworld god, which he becomes Sabak. Now, through the movie, it's building up the story, and then before you know it, it's an hour into the movie. And you just defining Black Adam, everything he could do. The rock is playing a good role, the storyline is going. So then you read the Justice Society. And they are in cahoots with Amanda Waller. Amanda Waller's we seen her in Suicide Squad, of course, and she's like the Nick Fury of the DC um, world. Versus Nick Fury is which what he does for Marvel. So nevertheless, inside of the Justice Society, you have uh, Doctor Fate, Hawkman. Cyclone and Smasher, Adam Smasher, and so Adam Smasher, he wears a suit similar to Ant Man, and you know how Ant Man uh, and Marvel balloons up real big, so that's what he does, and he got a, a Adam thing emblem on his chest. You got Cyclone, of course, that's self-explanatory. She she can move things in a Cyclone form, and that's how she's fighting. Um, her uh, enemies, and then you have Hawkman. So you arrive at the Hawkman estate, who's drawing all them together. Hawkman, he's like, a, how can I say? Who he reminds me of? I want to say Archangel. I want to say Archangel. But nevertheless, he got wing, like Patriot, in a sense, like Patriot, where, where he be, not Patriot. Um, what's what's Falcon from Marvel. That's what he reminded me of. His his uh wings and everything remind me of Falcon from uh, Winter Soldier and the, and the Falcon. That's what his his powers reminded me of. His suit rather. But I gotta dig more in Hawkman to understand is his everything comes from his suit or does he actually really have power? So they didn't really give like a true um because he wills a. a he got like a little uh, hammer that could change into like a um, a battle axe or whatever. So he got some cool weaponry and, you know, he got power though. So it's not like Falcon that's all gadgets with that suit. He actually has strength. So I got to do some de uh, digging on what Hawkman really, you know, where he, his origin story. Nevertheless, they formed together. Dr. Fate, of course, I kind of had a feeling he was going to die. 
but um, so he can see the future and he can uh, he like Dr. Strange uh, he got powers like Dr. Strange where he can show a bunch of illusions and do a lot of magical powers and the helmet that he has allows him to see the future or whatever so um, he eventually dies at the end of the movie and he sacrifices himself so that the other ones could live in a sense so it was a, it was a moment where um, before Ishmael became Sa Sabak and went on the other world Black Adam saved Amon which is Isis son and because Black Adam had to learn to work with people as a team he really wanted to do everything dolo and so when he saved Amon kill Ishmael but not before Ishmael got the crown on his body turned upside down which allowed him to go in the underworld and become Sabak which is the underworld's champion and by that time by the time he became the underworld champion Black Adam pretty much was like he doesn't deserve the powers and he said Shazam and told them to make sure he doesn't ever utter, um, utter the worst Shazam, uh, I said Shazam, Shazam again so they took him and put him underneath the water and put him in uh, um, water submerged in water where he would just preserve his body in case they ever needed him. However, when Sabat came on the surface and he was destroying everybody, Dr. Fate came and went into Black Adam's mind and helped release him from the water uh, incubator thing that they had, prison thing they had him in and told him that he needs to say the word again because he's the, you know, he's the champion of the people and they would need him. Only he could defeat Sabah. So he kind of floated up from the water where he was at and he seen that his uh, son and the wife was there. And when you see the son and the wife, the son pretty much said, it's not your time yet. And he eventually uttered the word Shazam. So you do find out that when his son did actually become the champion, when um, he got the emblem. But what took place is when the dad which is Black Adam was left on the surface with the mom, they came and killed him. And when the son came back, he sacrificed his life so the dad could get the power. So, so he could save the dad's life, rather, because the dad was dying. And he sacrificed and gave the dad his powers. However, when the dad came to with the strength and the Black Adam powers, the king's henchmen sent the knife on I mean, not a knife, an uh, arrow through the kid and killed him. So now what happened is where you thought he was the hero, he came for revenge on the king. And when he came with the, for the revenge of the king, he killed everybody in the king's castle and everything. So that's why the gods imprisoned him because they said he wasn't worthy of the powers because he couldn't control his rage. So... The tomb that was in the town, I mean, not the tomb, the statue that was in the town, everybody thought it was the statue of Black Adam, but it really was the statue of his son because he was the original champion or whatever. So, of course, at that moment, Black Adam came on a surface to beat Sabak, and this time he allowed the team effort to happen. Him and Hawkman um, was able to defeat Sabak pretty much Hawkman and him was pretty much going back and forth the whole movie and then they pretty much reconciled at the end so of course uh, they went about their life and basically said you know the people needs a champion and he pretty much said you know everybody's a hero and um, but they will have a protector that's what he uh, pretty much said so at that moment it went off. 
great movie. So of course it's one post credit scene and it's Black Adam and uh Drone comes down and it's Amanda Waller pretty much saying, hey, well, okay, since you don't want to stay in my prison, you need to stay with the, the people in that area. You better not come out of there. And um, or it's going to be consequences, basically problem. Black Adam said, there's nobody on this planet that can defeat me. So he's talking real cocky. And so she said, well, I could put a phone call in and um, put a favor in. And I know some people that's not from this planet. And uh, he said, well, bring them, bring them all. And she said, okay, have it your way. And so he destroyed the drone. And right when he destroyed the drone, through the shadows came Superman, played by Henry Cavill. And he said, Black Adam, nice to meet you. We need to talk. And then The Rock had that smirk on his face. So uh, I said The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Uh, man, it was a good movie, man. It was definitely a good movie. A must watch. Uh, it's one of those movies that I probably, I definitely watch again to uh, dig deeper. And uh, of course, I'm going to read up on the Hawkman Origins. So out of my four star rating system, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 4. I think this might... I don't remember me giving a 4 out of 4 this year. But I might have. Uh, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 4. Especially for a DC film. This has got to be by far the best... One of the best DC films that I watched. The, DC normally fumble the ball. Nah, Superman was good too. So let me not say that. Uh, but this is by far um, the best... One of the best DC films that I've seen. They didn't fumble the ball. and hit on all cylinders. Now... Where it might get rated, I don't know. The comic heads will be able to tell you, will be able to determine if they stated true to the comics or they veered off or they created some other bogus stuff. Or I don't know about that. So that could drop somebody's rating. But for the novice watching the film, four out of four stars. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Till next time.